Hey y'all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and today I'm on a rock hunt on the western shore of Lake Michigan at my favorite rock hunting spot. I call it Rock Beach. Today I'm going to be looking for mainly stromatoporoids, which I make my jewelry out of, and then a couple big pieces of quartz um, that I want to make into some freeform art. So without further ado, let's get to it. So basically the whole shoreline here is all rocks. You can see little rocks, big rocks, gigantic rocks all the way up. So as I'm going down, I like to actually look in the edge of the water too. You can kind of see there's a whole nother mess of rocks right in there. And I always wear old shoes just so I can walk in there if I see something that I want to grab. So I'm going to get walking up here and we'll see if we can find anything. Um, a lot of these rocks are dry. As you can see, the water is super calm today for some reason. I usually like a little bit of wave so it gets more of the rocks wet, but let's see what we can find. So here's another thing I like to do at this spot. It has all these gigantic rocks like this all the way along the whole thing. So I like to just look up into the crevices here because stuff gets washed up here and then people don't look back here and they don't figure stuff will be back here. But if you can see it, I don't know if you can. Right there looks like a spermatoporite. You can kind of see it's a little waxy looking. Grab it. Oh, and another one right below it. Maybe. Let's go get them wet and check it out. Okay, so that little one underneath is kind of just a quartzy, quartzy piece. Pretty cool anyways, but not what I'm looking for. And this one, yeah, definitely stromatoporite. So you can see the layers there going all the way around little pocket there, a little thing of mudstone. Not quite the size I'm looking for to cut, but decent little find. So let's keep going. So I was walking, haven't found much. They haven't gone too far either, but I did see this. Like, look at the size of this boulder for, you know, I'll put my foot on there. That's the size 14. So then you got all of this going on in here. Like, makes me think, what is that? Is that stromatolite? Is that something other, some other layered coral? But, I mean, it's through this whole thing. Like, look at the pattern on there. And it's just on the edge of this massive boulder. It's really cool. There's so many of them, too. You can kind of look at every one and see little fossil impressions on almost all of them. So, really cool. So, I'm walking. I see some kind of fossily, bubbly thing up here. Oh, look at right next to it. Oh, look at that. This is a beast right here. So, this is what I originally saw right here with all these holes. I think they're worm holes, maybe. Not exactly sure what kind of fossil that is, but look at inches away from it. Boom. Oh, look at the size of that thing. Let's get it wet and look at it. This is probably gonna be the biggest one of the day, I would think. I generally don't find them this size. Perfect cutting size, though. Try to get some light on this thing. Oh, look at that. Got some mudstone running through there. I love that. Gives it contrast. Oh, and you can see the layers on this side. It would have been growing like this probably, upright. Some limonite staining in there, maybe some iron staining. Sweet. Look at the size of that thing. Boom. On to the next one. So here we got another one right next to this big rock. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it definitely looks quartzy. And layery. I'm gonna grab it. It's definitely got layers, definitely got quartz. I'm gonna get it wet once in this green sludge. Just get all the green off. Yeah, so we definitely got some layers in there. It looks kind of sandstony. It definitely looks more quartzy right there. I don't know. That one's a head scratcher. That might be a good cutter to get a good cross section out of there. See what's inside. Yeah, I think we'll take that one home. Probably stromatolite or stromatoporite with those layers, but hard to tell. I was walking past, admiring this big rubber rock here, ring shaped. Kind of crazy, kind of rare. Then what, right when I got over to this rock, I looked down and I saw this guy. 
if we can get a picture. Oh, it looks like a, I think that's probably a horn coral. Kind of a full one even. Oh, and look at that on the top. Just a nice druzy pocket right on the top there. So there would be the bottom, I think. And then it grows up. And that's the top and some crystals decided to grow in there. Pretty sweet. On to the next one. All right, guys, so I've been picking up a bunch in the dry rocks, kind of up here as I'm trying to get past some of these bigger rocks. So I'll just show you a couple here that I found one at a time here. So this one's just a very, very quartzy, churdy, just a really cool piece. Some post rock on the back, so I think that'll make a good freestanding piece. Sweet, right there. And we got... Not sure what this is, I haven't gotten it wet yet. So that's like a solid, some sort of quartzite, but it is definitely clear, there's definitely layers, so that might actually even be just a little piece of stromatoporoid. I don't know if you can see the layers in there. Cool for sure, very clear. And we got the sweet stromatoporoid, I haven't seen this one either. They always have those that yellow on the outside for sure. A little more mudstone in there again. Sweet. And I don't know what this one looks like either. This was just a solid piece of quartz. I thought maybe I could get like a tower out of it or something, but I don't, actually there's some fossil in the bottom of there too, right there. Probably Flavocytes maybe, honeycomb coral. And there's a crystal pocket in there, so I might keep it for that. Then we got, Another nice piece of fossil here that goes up into some quartz, maybe some chert lines in there. Kind of see the fossil in the bottom there again. I don't think we'll keep that one. It's pretty small. Cool, but hard to do anything with. And then we got this one. I find a lot of stromatophoroids that look like this. They have that brown color with gray and then the white lines going through. That'll be a great cutter. It's like perfect height to make a cabochon right there out of that edge. So there we go. So let's head on. So I was walking and I just figured I needed to take a seat and take a break. So I sat on this giant rock right here. Look at the nice lake. And I look down and boom, right next to me, right there. Hard to tell on that one, I have to get it wet. But you can see all the layers in that thing. Let me give it a lick so you can see. And there you go. Look at those layers. Perfect width to cut too. That'll be a great one for cabochons. Look at that face. That is sweet. Okay guys, so right here, right on the edge. Kind of hard to miss. Zoom in. Right there, that's a huge example of that fossil soup that I was talking about. Grab it. Yeah, okay. Here, now you can see all those little impressions. All those little fossils, not sure what they are, all in the host rock there. So if you cut through this, you know, you get some pretty sweet cross sections. Hard to polish up a lot of times because this is softer stuff that this is in, but really cool. A lot of this down here. And let's get to the next one. So getting back into the sun here, getting out of the shade. I don't know if you can see it down there. Probably wide enough to cut. Let's see, yeah, look at that thing. Very yellow stripe, got layers in there. Look at all those layers. That's a sweet one, it's pretty thick too. Good cutter, or maybe even a good freeform one. That face right there is pretty sweet with that cavity in there. All right, let's get on to the next. Waves are getting a little bigger. Getting wet feet. Oh, what's that? Oh, there we go. This is what I'm looking for. Right there. Big bar points. It's up here. Yeah, look at that. Solid quartz. The whole top. It's got like a basalt bottom. That'll be a perfect freeform piece right there that'll shine up nice be like pure white a little translucent some yellow and black in there that's 
Perfect. Just what I was looking for. All right, guys, so I'm nearing the end of my beach. I did have another little pocket full that I got wet for you here. Let's see if I can get some light on these guys. This is a little piece of, I'm not sure what it is. It's got a lot of different layers. Might be jasper, might be some limonite in there, some quartz, a good tumbler. We'll take a lot of these home for the tumbler. They turn out really good. And we got this stromatophoroid, a great example of one. All the layers, look at that, sweet. And we got this thing that just has a perfect X in it on both sides. I thought that was pretty sweet. Not gonna take that one home. Got another nice chunk of quartz with some, I don't know, metallic something or other in there. Maybe a little bit of granite there. But the majority of this is all just solid quartz. That'll be perfect for a free form. Another big chunk of Favocytes here. Uh, honeycomb coral. You can kind of see the side there. Huge chunk. And then I find a lot of this here. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But it all seems to be bound together by something that's either iron stained or limonite. And then all of where that purple color is, is actually quartz. And I think there might be basalt underneath, but I've only cut a couple of them. So it looks like amethyst right here, but it isn't. It's smoky quartz, quartz at best, but another cool find. All right, so now, like I said, I'm uh, nearing the end of my beach here. So what I do on the way back is I usually walk the dry rocks all the way on top. It's just an easier walk. And by now, I'm usually pretty pooped out. It's hot out here. So if I find anything on the way back in the dry rocks, I will show you at the end. All right. So just so you guys kind of see what I'm dealing with here, this is what I'm looking through. I didn't just find one right in front of me here. I didn't pick it up to see if you can spot it. So right here. Just kind of train my eyes to look for that skin. So I know this is one. I don't know what kind of quality it is. Yeah, so you can definitely tell that is a stromatochloride. Not a very good quality one, um, but that's what you're looking for when you're looking through the dry rocks. So on my way back, my eyes are usually pretty tired. I'm pretty beat. So I usually don't find that much on the way back, but I figured I would just show you guys kind of what it is looking through this stuff. It all kind of looks exactly the same except for that skin, so. And then I look for kind of waxy skin or chalky looking skin for like any quartz or anything like that, but. All right, let's get back to the car. All right guys, so I did find a couple more on the way back to the car and the dry rocks. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Hopefully the sound's okay here. It's getting a little windy. Um, what I'm going to do is head home, get the rocks cleaned up, and then go over what we all found today. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I'm back home. I got everything cleaned up. Got myself cleaned up. I probably lost about 10 pounds in sweat on that hunt. Um, but anyways, my goal was to get a couple good stromatoporids, like some really A-grade ones. I think I definitely did that. And to get some quartz freeform pieces, which I definitely did that too. So we'll start going over everything I got today. Um... I have a bowl of water just so you guys can kind of see what everything looks like wet. So I'll just get them wet here a little bit. So these are just ones I grab for the tumbler. I like the nice solid quartz pieces. So there's one. Here's another one that had some epidote, maybe some unikite on the bottom of it. Probably just epidote in there with a nice quartz cap on there. So that'll tumble out really cool. Another one. A lot of times they have this red in there. A lot of red streaks, yellow. That one should, one should tumble decent. And then this was that jasper or whatever that is. That It's kind of a mystery rock. It's waxy, so I'm thinking it's a jasper just with, you know, some inclusions in there. Maybe quartz and limonite and things like that. So those are the tumble rocks. Then the fossils we found today. This one is a nice chain coral. You can kind of see it there on the edge. It goes all the way through, and then you can see the sides of the tubes right there. Pretty sweet. And then the bottoms. You can even see the bottoms of the tubes right there. 
Then we got another Favocites, but a really cool cross section of one with some orange and pink in there. There you can see all the little vesicles in there. So that was a cool one. We found a possible Syringopora. Not sure. It's kind of hard to tell. It kind of looks like chain from the top or Halocytes, but from the side it looks almost perfectly like tubes that are not connected. So I'm thinking Syringoporia. I don't find much of this, but could be. Not 100% sure. And then this was the last one. Before I get it wet, I'll show you that druzy pocket in the top. Look at that. That's sweet. And that is in the top of a horn coral. So when I get it wet, you'll be able to see the whole thing here. So basically the bottom of it was there and then it grew up. Oh, might be a little cold water agate right there. Yeah, it looks like it. Tiny little piece. And then that Jersey pocket in the top. So pretty sweet. A couple thing, random things I found on the way back to the car. Um, this piece, just a granity piece with some basalt and quartz, but I just thought the pattern was so cool on that. Like it looks like a piece of art already. Look at that. Crazy. Sweet though. And then we got this thing too, which also very awesome. It's kind of in, looks like it's in basalt that's kind of stained green on the back, but then in the front it's got like this picture frame. Quartz and like iron stained in there, maybe limonite. Really sweet. We're going to shine that up, make that a freeform piece. And then we got the two pieces of quartz that I got for my freeform. So this was the first one. This is just a solid, solid, solid piece. And then it's got a little bit of metallic and a little bit of granite on this corner, but the whole top is quartz. So I'll probably stand it up like that. The base will be granite and then the quartz will be sticking up. So that was a bonus from today. And then this was the bigger freeform piece that I found. That is a huge piece all quartz in the middle there and then I'm hoping this is just a band of basalt through there so when I shine this all up there's just a black line right through the middle with some yellow that would be great but that's another awesome piece I'll do a video on that piece later on uh when I shine that one up all right and then on to the stromatoporoids a lot of cool ones this was a very quartzy one I can get in there and kind of show you can see the really thin layers in there all the way around it's got this host on the back so i think i'm going to make a standing piece out of that too it'll look really cool once i shave the face off so that's probably what i'll do here's one just a really really nice one really nice bands a little bit of towers going on on the top there really nice Thick enough to cut or just shine up, polish up, even tumble maybe. This guy had that awesome face with all those layers and you can see little quartz pockets in there. You can kind of see them poking through on this side too. So that one's probably going to get slabbed up this way. So I get a bunch of this face for cabochons, which I'll probably also do a video on later. Uh, this was another one I picked up specifically to do cabochons because of that edge right there. You can see all the layers, and then it's kind of bordered by the white. So I'll cut that one this way and get a few cabochons that look just like that. Probably t maybe two, three. And then use the end for a standing stone. I do standing stones with the ends of those stromatoporids that I cut off just so I don't waste anything. All right, on to this one. This was a really nice one. That's a very, very pronounced layers there all the way up. A lot of yellow, a lot of white all the way around. Little mudstone on the top for some flavor. Sweet. This one you guys saw in the video. This was that little stubby one. Maybe some other types of fossil in the top here, but the bottom is definitely ceratoporoid. Sometimes you see the little algae fossils in there too, the little dots. I think that might be algae that gets in there. Not sure. But again, little mudstone on top for flavor. Then we got this guy. This one was sweet. So very wavy piece. Kind of does look like chert, but all of this is translucent all the way around. Got some yellows, a lot of gray, a lot of white. Maybe one strip of host through the middle there. 
probably just skin, but really, really nice one. Might cut it. Oh, there's some more little algae spots, maybe. Might cut it. Probably I'm just going to polish that one up. Have as a free form. Getting on to the big ones. We found this guy. That one you can see it's a little less transparent, but definitely stromatoporoid. And then it's got the skin all the way around the outside of this just perfectly. So basically I'm going to just shave the face off of that so you can see the whole frame around it. And this will be nice and shiny on the front framed in. That'll be a great piece. Another totally awesome one with a lot of stuff going on here. Another one that's probably just going to get polished. All those layers in there, that pocket in the top, all the way around. Super nice one. This one I found on the way back to the car. Um, probably not a stromatoporoid, probably just layers of algae it looks like on here, or maybe some other type of fossil, but the other side is what I saw when I was walking towards the car. It's uh, this side which I don't really know what that looks like. Can't quite put my finger on it, but that's how it was looking at me from the ground. So kind of a strange one. Then we got the second biggest stromatoporoid piece here. This one, a little dirty. You can see in here little specks of dirt and stuff in there, but once it gets shaved off, it should look good. All the lines all the way from the bottom, all the way up through the top, and then one one layer of skin going through the middle here. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. I might try to just shave it off and see what it looks like and then maybe cut it, but another really big piece. You know, my hand's pretty big, another big piece. And then we got the beast. This was one of the bigger ones I've ever found. Here's the bottom of it. You can see the layers going up, like rings in a tree, all, all there. And you flip it over and there's your top so it was growing like this and this is kind of the top it's been all invaded by mudstone and quartz probably lots of other things not quite sure what i'm going to do with that one yet um probably not going to cut it probably going to try to shave the top off to make some of that stuff pop out but future video possibly but that is another big one i don't really find them that big so so if you guys like this video, you like this hunt, and you want to see more like it, uh, join me in my, you know, further videos, and I will see you in the next one.